In this short video, we'll go over 7 changes we can add to see how a simple enemy AI moves around the screen. Incorporating things like these into our games can be a great way to add what we usually call game feel or juice. As players, these are the little nuances that can make a game feel amazing or meh. The enemy just moves left and right and shoots in a set interval. It looks very boring at this stage, like he doesn't actually fit in the world he's in. To start off, we'll add a propulsion effect to the enemy. With this effect, we can start seeing that his levitation actually makes sense. Next, we'll add some verticality to the enemy movement. This makes the enemy a lot more engaging to interact with, and he starts to look like he's actually patrolling around, trying to kill the player with his bullets. All it actually is, is a sine wave in the physics process function. We can control the frequency and the amplitude of this wave movement to better fit him into the world. We can also add a dust effect on the ground as the enemy moves, so it looks like he's kicking up dust as he hovers over it. To do this, I've just added a couple of Raycast 2D nodes that check collisions with the floor to know exactly where the dust has to be instantiated. The next step is adding a small trail to the bullets the enemy shoots, just so the player can be more aware of them and avoid them with more ease. In this case, I did it with a line 2D node, but a particle node would work just as fine or even better. To give the enemy a bit more weight whenever he shoots, we can add some elasticity to the animation. Making him stretch and squash when he shoots makes him much more dynamic. In this case, I've just added this shader I found on the Godot shader site. Next, we can add a small muzzle flash effect to the enemy whenever he shoots to attract the player's attention and make the enemy feel more alive and dangerous. Last but not least, adding sound effects to the actions that happen in the game scene is a great way of putting it all together to sell an experience. In this case, I've added a thruster sound and a laser effect I found on Kenny. I'll be the first to admit that the laser sounds very out of place, but you get the point. Add juice to your games, they can feel so much better. 